Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been on YouTube recently and I have been noticing that a lot of YouTubers are doing the full face tag. So I wanted to do that, but I also wanted to do it in a unique way, something that's super interesting. And so I came up with the idea to do the full face of vintage makeup. And no, this isn't vintage modern makeup. It's not modernized. Um, it's not produced today. These are legitimate 75 to 80 year old makeup that was made in the 30s, 40s, and 50s um, that I have found from, it was basically called New Old Stock from pharmacies that kind of, I guess they shut down and they kept the stock in there for so many years and then they sell it to collectors. So, you know, I got my hands on some of them and I thought this would be really interesting. And along the way, I'm gonna be showing you guys vintage advertisements so you guys can see what the advertisements look like for the makeup. Um, I have makeup brands that you guys will be very familiar with, which makes this even more cooler. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first product that I'm showing you guys comes from this vintage advertisement. And this is the Pond Angel Face. And it was produced around 1945, I'm reading, 1945 through 1950 blank. I couldn't really find an end date to the production of this. And this is what the foundation looks like just like the photo, which is so cool just to see it, you know, in my hand, something that was created so long ago. And by the way, this is in the color Bronze Angel, and they use the Bronze Angel to get a, like, a natural looking tan. And you guys are going to laugh when you see what they thought bronze looked like. Okay, so this is what bronze was in the 50s. And that is what they considered bronze. Like, that looks like my skin now, like what? Um, it's really pink. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's super, super pink, um, like strawberry pink, which makes this even scarier for me. So, moment of truth, I gotta put this on now. Here it is. Proof. Boom. Oh, wow. I mean, it's pink, but it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna just, like, do this, because I don't want to smear what I have under it. Okay, let's see. Hey, wait, do you guys, can you guys see that? Is it too bright in here? Here, let's do that. Okay, it looks better. This literally smells like an old lady, but like after she farted, like <laughs> that is not the best smell, but wow, I kind of like this color. Okay, that's enough. I feel kind of bad now because I ruined the powder puff. It was like perfectly like non-used. Hmm. I like this though. What? I expect this to look super, super pink, but I just look like, I don't know. I look flushed. I look like, like I got a little bit of a tan. Yeah. Yeah. So the next product I'm bringing out is the Princess Pat blush. Now Princess Pat was a big deal in the 30s and 40s because the color payoff was fantastic and it was compact so you can bring it literally anywhere. It's the size of a freaking quarter. Um, so this is what the blush looked like up close. It says Princess Pat on it and when you open it, it gives you a little powder puff which is literally crumbling. That's disgusting. And there's the blush inside which is like a bright fluorescent orange tone. But yeah. And I, oh, let me show you guys the vintage advertisement for that. All right, now this one's really pushing it and I'm definitely not using the powder puff that is inside of it because it's like deteriorating. It's like oh, 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 disgusting. Um, so I'm gonna use my own brush, but here it is. I'm going to dip it. And I'm gonna put a little, cause I don't know how much I need, so I can always build it up if I have to. All right, let's see. Hmm. You sure this is orange? This looks pink on my skin, but it's like fluorescent neon orange. Like what? I'm so confused. What? Let's put on a little bit more. It's pink, what? How? How is that pink when it's orange in the thing? Nice, nice. And even for being this old, it still works. That's surprising. So eyeshadow was actually surprisingly super, super hard to find. 
I literally spent days trying to find eyeshadow. Um, but then I got super freaking lucky and came across the Avon sticks. Now, I like, this is like the holy grail because first, the Avon sticks, am I in focus? Thank you. Now, eyeshadow sticks in general were a big hit in the 50s because it's, you know, when makeup brands come up with a new invention like the Beauty Blender and it just revolutionizes everything, that's kind of what the eyeshadow sticks were. And for it to be Avon is a freaking bonus because Avon was actually a super popular brand in the 50s. If you guys remember watching Edward Scissorhands, and you see that it was like taking place in the 50s and the mother was an Avon lady. Yeah, you've had one of those ladies in every neighborhood. Now mine is actually used, which makes this so much more disgusting, but it's the only product in my bunch that's used, so I can take the risk. Um, but it doesn't roll up. Both of them don't roll up. So this one is in turquoise mist and this one is in silver. Uh, the turquoise mist is the one that I had in the photo that I showed you guys of the advertisement. Um, and I'm kind of confused because it looks blue in here and it's supposed to be silver. So I don't know what that means. And it makes, it makes me a little worried, but let's just go ahead and take the risk. What the heck? Like, <gasps> what is that? Ew, it's like blue. You, okay, let me show you. This is like blue stuff. I'm guessing it's like part of the metal. But that looks freaking awful. Oh my god. Um, but I'm just gonna like dig into it. Maybe like poke it a little to get some product. What? Yeah guys, I don't think this is actually gonna come out because it's like... I'm poking it super hard to just try to break the eyeshadow a tiny bit. To see if I can get some pigment. But all it's picking up is that blue, disgusting like metal fiber stuff. So I'm so sorry the eyeshadow didn't work. I really thought it would. I didn't think it would dry out, but I guess it did, so forgive me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to the lips. Actually, no, before I show you my lipsticks, I'm going to show you guys something that I got by accident. Okay, so I got the Revlon powder polish. Now when I read this, I thought it was um, face powder, but I thought it was just like a retro way, like powder polish for your face, you know what I'm saying? So I got it because it was just like, I don't know, was it like four or five dollars? So I was like, oh, that's awesome. And it's Revlon, like such a big brand. And I actually couldn't find an advertisement for this. But every time I looked, it would say powder polish for nails. And I was like, what do you mean for nails? What? And then I read the back and it says for nails. Awesome. But here, let me show you a close up. So yeah, that is what the Revlon, um logo used to look like which is super super retro um that's like the most iconic retro font for the 50s um but i thought that was really cool so i decided to show you guys anyway okay so the first lipstick i'm actually going to be showing you guys is another pons brand but this one still had the carding like the background like the thing that comes with it still has it i thought that was really cool so i'm going to show you guys that first and i'll show you the other ones so this is what it looks like up close now this was what you would get as a sample so you would buy the sample size before you bought the full size that way you made sure that you liked it um so back in the day the sample size was 10 cents and the regular size was 53 cents if i remember correctly but yes it stays on longer this shade is rascal red clear flaming red um and there's the back of it so I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the thing. Now I'm not going to use this one because it's in such perfect condition and it has the carding that I don't want to damage its like worth, but I will, oh, this is like rusty. Hold on. So here it is up close. And so I have these four lipsticks. Now these are all from the forties, except for this gold one in the middle here. So I'm going to show you guys one by one. All right, so the first one we show you guys is the Botany lipstick. Now this one is in the color, it's in the color Come Hither, which is very interesting. And this is a 1946 lipstick. So I'm gonna open it and oh my God, what the heck is that? Okay, can you guys see that right now? It has like fuzzy stuff in there, like what is that? All right, so I'm gonna swatch this color on my hand. So that is the color that it is. It's kind of like a reddish pink. It's a very nice color actually. And the vintage advertisement for this one is right here. 
All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one. I'm gonna grab the, which one is this one? Ooh, the Tangy Pink Queen. Now the Tangy Pink Queen was also a good hit. Um, it was a color that was highly coveted. And I'm gonna show you guys an advertisement of this one. So you can see it also says Tangy Pink Queen on the bottom. Let me see if you guys can read that. Yep, same lipstick. So I'm gonna swatch it on my hand first. So that is the color of this one and it is like a flamingo pink, I would say. So the next one in my lot is the Lennon Fink Production Tussie Orange Perma Stick. Here we go. You can see it's a 60 cents in the name and the shade that it is in. So I'm assuming it's like a popsicle orange color. And the era that it is from is 1943. So I'm gonna show you guys the vintage advertisement for this lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand and see what it looks like. I am living for this color. Um, wow, it's very unique. I don't think I've ever seen a lipstick this color before. So the last lipstick that I have for you guys is the Lanolin Plus. Now this one is from 1958, this specific lipstick itself, but the brand has been, ex been around for way before that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the advertisement for this lipstick. Let's see. What? What? I did not expect that to give me that color. Like that's freaking magical. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up which one I'm going to be putting on. And I'm still stuck with the orange. That orange really had me. So I'm going to be trying on that one. So before I put it on, I'm going to put on some foundation to kind of create a barrier between me and the lipstick. I'm going to mute my lips. Ew, the texture of this though. It smells weird. Huh. So this is what it looks like and this is the finished look pretty much because we're already done. I don't have any more products. I ran out. Um, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you guys can see more. Um, this was definitely a very new experience for me and I hope it was a new experience for you. And I hope you had fun watching it. Um, and until then, I will see you guys in my next video.